All right, so we've now just completed a few circuits, and uh, Tony's quote, I'm more than happy to let you do this on your own. I went through the normal motions and checks and start up. Looking around, I have enough fuel, my instruments are set, I'm ready to go. Seat belts and doors locked, I release the brakes and start the long taxi to the end of the runway. Midway down the taxi, I roll my shoulders and take a deep breath to relieve the nerves of going solo. I wasn't nervous about flying the plane because I could do that already. It was more the fear of the unknown and I was just about to discover what the unknown was. As I look out to the right, I notice that there's no one blocking the view. No instructor sit next to me. I'll make a call and taxi out to the runway. I'll line up with the centre line and roll the shoulders once more. With my fingers off the brakes, I increase the throttle, looking down the long black length of tar, trying to keep the aircraft on the centre line. The nose lifted, shortly followed by the mains. I was flying. <laughs> I look out and give a group of family and friends a wave. Crap, I better keep concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm already up high enough, so I take the flaps up. I turn crosswind and look over the runway. Wow, I must have climbed very fast without another one in with me. Then I have to concentrate again. I turn downwind after making a call. So now I'm on downwind. I trim the plane and take hands off the controls to feel it. I give a little wave to the camera and a thumbs up. I look around for traffic and look across to the empty seat. Wow, I can't believe it. It is such a surreal feeling flying the aircraft on your own. I look around at all the little houses and cars driving the streets as if they were the most lifelike slot car track not many people get the opportunity to witness. No traffic in sight, I'm at the correct height and everything is good. I look around and turn base. Now I'm really starting to get into the landing mode and focusing on what I have to do to get this plane down. I pull one stage of flaps and take a look at the strip. I turn final. Focused on the tiny little black strip I would have to land on. I check my speed once more. It's correct. Everything is looking good. Now I just have to keep it down the strip and wait. A few little bumps and I'm over the road. I go over the road and pull the power off. And keeping the plane down the centre line, I slow it down. I feel the slight shudder of the wheels touching and I hold the nose off the ground until it slows down enough to let it sink back down and touch. Now it's back on the runway. I touch the brakes ever so slightly to slow down. I turn off and smile. I have made it. So the plane is a Foxbat A22LS. Uh, it's a light uh, aircraft with great power to weight ratio, predictable characteristics and response, light and responsive controls. There's a great view out of its big windows and short takeoff and landings. Uh, it's also really, really good in slow flight, therefore making it a good trainer. I get out very excited and shake everyone's hands. <laughs> I did it. So uh, you'll never do that again. No, uh, that was that was awesome. That was um, a lot. It was same plane to fly, but a lot different. Just looking out to the right, no one there, realizing you're flying the plane. This is just you by yourself. It's pretty cool. Well done. So.